While being apprenticed to Darth Plagueis, Sidious constructed his first lightsaber and used it during training. When he began his political career, he concealed his lightsaber within an uranium statue and went as far as to have the piece be constructed around his lightsaber in order to conceal it as best he could. The weapon remained hidden within the statue for at least two decades, waiting there until Palpatine would have use of it. During this period, the Sith Lord was forced to use backup weapons when he needed to wield a lightsaber and on one occasion he was seen using his master's lightsaber instead. Having a fondness for art, Darth Sidious designed his original weapon with a high level of craftsmanship, clearly influenced by the Sith Lord's love of antiquity. The body of the lightsaber was fashioned from indestructible frick alloy while the flat emitter was composed of erodium. The insides possessed a refined and elegant electrum finish and the weapon used a synthetic crystal as its main focusing crystal. Always planning ahead, Sidious already had prepared a backup lightsaber. This second weapon was initially identical to his first lightsaber with the Electrum and Frick finish of his original weapon. However, Palpatine, after some time of building it, went on to add an unknown black alloy to the body of the lightsaber. In truth, he viewed his own lightsabers as little more than objects that you can show off and rarely wielded them in combat. We saw him use both lightsabers during his visit to Mandalore. He proceeded to kill Savage Opress and enslaved Maul in the process. Later, using Sith alchemy, Sidious appeared in front of Yoda as a disguised Sith Lord and battled him with a single lightsaber. After General Grievous was killed and the war seemed to be over, his secret personality was revealed to Master Windu by Anakin Skywalker. When the Jedi Masters arrived to arrest him, however, Sidious elected not to go down without a fight. He ignited his original lightsaber that he had built as a youngling and hid inside the statue. The two forces users seemed to be matched equally until Mace Windu gained the upper hand and kicked him. This knocked the Sith Lord over and his original lightsaber, the first one that he built, was lost as it fell down below. Once again Sidious was confronted by a Jedi Master, but this time it was Master Yoda. There Sidious would battle the Jedi using his second lightsaber. In regards to the films, this was the last time that we see Palpatine use a lightsaber as he does not wield one in Return of the Jedi. However, recently with the release of the novel Lords of the Sith, we see that Darth Sidious would once again use his second lightsaber and fought alongside his apprentice Darth Vader against a swarm of Ilex on the planet Ryloth. Alright Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and in closing, don't forget, may the Force be with you always.